Hey guys, Milma here with another Xcode tutorial. Uh, this is an Xcode 4 tutorial based around code snippets. And I'm going to go a bit more in depth on code snippets, although I do have a tutorial on this. It's just that it's not very good because I just found out about them, but now I know a bit more about them and how they can be used. So let's say in this tutorial I need to use a UI alert view. So in my view did load, if I just go into the dot .m here and undo the green brackets, uh, bracket things, I want uh, an alert to appear in my view did load. Um, so, yep, I could just go UI alert view, blah, 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 start, and type it all out, and that just takes ages. And I use alert views quite a lot in my applications. So why don't I make a code snippet for them? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write out my alert view, and then I'm going to come back and show you how to make a code snippet from one. So I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, I'm back and as you can see, here is my alert view. Now this is my standard alert view, apart from the fact that it doesn't say title, message and this, it has my own obvious buttons here. Um, but this is my standard alert view. Now I just had to type that out, but let's say I make a code snippet from it. So to get into the code snippet library, we go up here to where it says view, we click this end one here, we go down to the bottom here, and then we click on this one here with the brackets. Now we get all of Apple's preset code snippets uh, that they give us. So there's all sorts of stuff in here, for statements, if statements, if else statements, loads and loads and stuff, dialog statements, while statements. You can have a look through that yourself and see what Apple give us. Now if we go right down to the bottom, here's our preset ones that we made ourselves. Now I already have a few in here, but to get to ours, just go up to the top here and select a user and it gives us the ones we've made, our own ones. So what I'm going to do here is create my code snippet for alert view. I'm going to highlight my code. That's the first thing I do. Highlight it. I then click with my mouse button and hold down so I don't click and drag straight away because you can see clicking and dragging just highlights. What I do is I click and hold for at least one second and see my mouse changes to a mouse cursor instead of a writing cursor. So if I do that again, hold down for a second, changes. I can now drag my text around. So if I drag my code, over here into my code snippet library and enter there you go there's my new code snippet now this should all be pretty basic up until around nowish so I'm gonna set my title which is gonna be uh, alert view um, summary is the little thing that comes at the side here I'm gonna create make an alert oopsie daisy alert view like that um, and now completion shortcut now, as you know in Xcode, if you start typing stuff out, Xcode will automatically try and complete it for you. So I'm going to create my shortcut for my alert view. I'm going to call it alert. So whenever I type alert in my applications, it should automatically give us this alert view stuff. So that's done. Um, functional method, we're going to keep it as function because that's what we want it as. Uh, language is obviously objective C, so we're going to keep that the same. Uh, platform, we want it all platforms because I might be making Mac apps someday. Um, and yeah, there's my code. So if I click done, and there you go, here's my alert view. Now I can access this in two ways. Let's say I delete my alert view here. I can either drag my alert out and my code snippet out, and there you go, it's back again. Or I can type in my shortcut. So if I start typing in alert, you see here it asks, do you want your alert view shortcut? I say yes, enter, and there you go, there's our alert. Now I have one of these for my mail, so if I type out MF mail, see there you go, there's my mail. Now you'll notice something different about this, apart from all the errors. The fact that here, it has this thing here that says may email. Like in most completion things, it's got these little parameters that we can enter stuff in. I'm going to teach you how to do that right now. So, say instead of having title here, now we have to double click, we have to delete, we have to type out our title again. I'm going to teach you how to turn it into one of those parameters like in that other one. So if we go click on our alert view here and then we click edit. We can now go into here into our code here and instead of title we're going to put an open right carrot. We're going to type out the hash key which on my keyboard is alt and three. Then we're going to type in the name for our thing so I'm going to call it title and then we're going to end it with another hash and then close the carrot. So you do this for all the ones you want parameters in. So I'm going to just do that now. Uh, and I'll speed it up so you can still see what I'm doing. So back in a minute.
All right, so uh, I clicked done there in the little speed up bit, but um, if I just click on my alert view again, uh, if it decides to pop up, there we go. You can now see that we have our, our nice parameters in here. So, you know, you can put whatever you want there and it will appear. You can even have, if you wanted, changing the name like that. So you can change the alert name if you wanted. But I'm going to leave it as that. I'm going to delete our alert here. I'm going to type out our shortcut again, press alert. And as you can see, it goes straight to our first parameter. And I'm going to say I want the title, title. Oops, like that, title. Uh, message, see I just click tab and it goes to the next one. So I'm going to put message in. Other tab again will go to the next one, so I'm going to call that cancel. And if I didn't want another button, I'll just delete it like that. Or I can just, you know, type in another button, so I'm going to put other. So there we go, there's our code with our code snippets, and I've told you how to put parameters in there. Now there are obviously other couple stuff you can do with these, depending on the method you do. So like my MF mail one, if we click on that, we can, if we click edit, see that it's called a class implementation, because it's got... Uh, an IB action in it and all sorts of and a void in it like that whereas if we go back to our alert here it's called a function or a method um, because you know it's it's not got an IB action in it or a void so uh, I hope that helped um, you know I hope that showed you how you can use code snippets to their maximum um, so again thanks for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe don't forget to follow me on twitter at Fairpoke apps uh, an annotation thing should appear on the screen now and uh, don't forget to click on any ads you see in videos because they help as well. So again, thanks for watching and see you in my next video.